Astronauts Sunny Williams and Butch Wilmore are finally back on Earth. And today they are being checked out by doctors as they get used to gravity once again. The astronauts received a surprise welcome home from dolphins that greeted their SpaceX capsule during splashdown yesterday off the Florida coast. The duo's eight-day mission to space last June turned into nine months due to a series of equipment and weather mishaps. Meantime, a News Nation exclusive revealing NASA's high-tech plan to save Earth if an asteroid ever comes barreling toward us. NASA's asteroid killer, the so-called NEO Surveyor, is set to launch in 2027. It's the first spacecraft specifically designed to find large asteroids and comets that could harm Earth. News Nation's Nancy Lewis live from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. So Nancy, you got a behind the scenes look and it almost feels like something straight out of Star Wars. Oh, Nicole, it is very cool stuff. And the asteroid tracking never stops for experts around the world, especially here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Inside, important work on the world's first spacecraft designed specifically for planetary defense. It is called the NEO Surveyor, and News Nation got an exclusive sneak peek at the meticulous construction underway in a NASA clean room. That truck-sized black structure is the main frame of NEO, which stands for Near Earth Objects. After its launch on a SpaceX rocket in September of 2027, NEO Surveyor's specialized telescope will be able to spot about 90% of asteroids and comets that might pose a hazard to Earth within a range of about 30 million miles. Asteroids and comets that are smaller than about 500 feet in diameter, they're nearly impossible to see from Earth, but from space, NEO surveyors, infrared technology can not only detect these fast moving objects, even those in the dark, but also measure at their size and composition. We're looking for near Earth objects. Those are the objects that are within the same sort of orbit as the Earth. And the reason we want to look for those is some of those have the potential to impact the Earth. And so with this particular project, we'll be looking for those in a very special uh, spectrum called infrared trying to detect them and find them before they find us. Just recently, particular concern over an asteroid known as YR4, a rock the size of a football field capable of wiping out an entire city. Experts had tracked a possible Earth impact in December of 2032, but then an updated trajectory negated the impact probability. Now, NEO surveyor could have spotted it far earlier and prevented that initial concern. Now, as for a real threat, back in 2021, NASA successfully tested a mission called DART, or Double Asteroid Redirection Test, the intentional crashing of a spacecraft into an asteroid to change its orbit. Again, very cool stuff. Very, very cool stuff. All right, Nancy, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.